Leo, welcome to your October 2018 tarot reading. My name is Sarah Fina Safi, and I present Enchanted Mirror Tarot. So I love my Leos. Welcome. What is the central theme of Leo's reading today? What is the central theme of Leo's reading today? One card for the central theme of Leo's reading today. Oh, there's new beginning and grace so some of you may be getting pregnant I see some pregnancy here or it's just a new job um, it could be a new relationship there's a new love here and you're very passionate about it it's something that you've wanted for a while and you're very hopeful and optimistic about it and I see you very intuitive about this and you feel like you're on top of the world with this new beginning it's very royal like you feel very elegant there's a lot of uh, dignity here and grace and it's a brand new start it's a birth of something new Leo, 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 well, I see a new relationship here. It could be with a Gemini. It could be a new start with a Gemini. Um, or it's just bringing in that Gemini in energy of somebody who likes to talk a lot, who's very social. Um, it, it's a very, a very passionate relationship and very balanced. I see, I see you feeling stuck though, like there's a lack of growth here. It looks like we're back into old patterns. We have the King of Cups in the reverse. This is an emotional manipulator. This is a narcissist. It could be the same one from the past, re, re, like returning. I see a new emotional journey. So it's kind of like it has its ups and it has its downs so far. So I see a new beginning and I see a lot of grace, dignity. There was growth here. Um, and I see a relationship, a very good relationship. It could be a relationship with yourself. It could be a relationship with somebody else. But it's a really good relationship and it's just beginning. But I see that you feel stuck you feel trapped like you're unable to grow you're unable to move on but I see that you are moving on and what's hindering you is this king of cups reversed and this king of cups reversed is an emotional manipulator he's a narcissist and I see that you're just learning how to deal with the emotions from this you're on a new journey and you're just beginning you're taking the lessons the King of Cups in reverse taught you, the narcissist taught you, the emotional manipulator taught you. You're taking those lessons. And I see you beginning a new journey and you're growing from that. Well, this is good. All right, a whole story just came out. I see celebrations. There could be a wedding or you're going out to clubs and socializing. There's celebrations here. There's a happy time. 
So yeah, it has its ups and it has its downs, but I see it getting better. Like as we go more towards November, I see things getting a lot better. It looks like presently, like you just started this. So this is the inception of a new relationship. And it just began and it's beginning about right now. And I see some hesitancy because of this emotional manipulator and they could presently be emotionally manipulating you. There could have been something presently that you felt like you were being manipulated emotionally. But I see you learning from that. You're taking these lessons and I see you growing, maturing. You're a student and you're learning. And I see celebrations. I don't see any judgment, like you're not being judged. You felt like you were, but you're not being judged. I have the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. So we could be dealing with somebody who's very down to earth, who doesn't like to move, who, who doesn't like to change, who likes to stay stagnant. Um, somebody who eats too much, drinks too much, is a little bit lazy, doesn't like to get out and move a lot. And then I have the King of Swords in the upright, but they're an excellent communicator. This, he's the King of Communication. He's a clear, effective communicator. I see a brand new emotional beginning. Again, we have that new beginning. There's a new emotional beginning. But I see somebody who spends money frivolously. This is the king of pentacles in the reverse. Um, and with the queen of pentacles in reverse, both the, the masculine and feminine energies together, it's somebody who spends money crazy, who is very lazy, who doesn't like to do anything. Their house is probably a mess. But I see someone coming in fast. They're all about conquest. They're there to conquer. Um, new adventures. This is a brand new adventure. So I see as, as you're leaving October, there's a new adventure, a new energetic adventure. We're back in your element. And you're on to the next thing. So I see a new relationship that's just beginning. It could be a work relationship, a relationship with yourself. This could even be a new diet. We could even be talking about a new diet. Something new is beginning. I'm seeing more relationship. I'm seeing this as being a new relationship. Um, and it's just beginning because a baby that's emotional, you're in love with the baby. It's something that you're in love with. It's just beginning. And you feel like you can't grow. There's a lack of growth here. And it's because of this emotional manipulation. But the emotional manipulation that's happening presently with whatever this new beginning is, it's bringing about grace, dignity, growth. I see you maturing, and it's making you mature emotionally, which is bringing about stability, long-term stability and celebrations. So this is a necessary rite of passage. There is conflict. There is conflict right now, but this emotional manipulator they hurt your feelings. I see this person hurt your feelings. Like you felt like this was the meanest person in the world, but what they said, what they did was actually a good thing because you're actually listening. I see you listening. I see you having grace. I see you having dignity about it. And I see you taking their suggestions, taking the mean words, taking the emotional manipulation and you're growing with it and it's causing celebrations. I do see that there could be a period of depression, but it doesn't last very long. There could be a period of spending money frivolously. There could be a period of laziness.
but I see that it's just karmic and it's almost complete and somebody talks to you and they have they're a very clear effective communicator this is towards mid mid October they speak with you this could be a counselor this could be a trusted friend and what they say, it makes perfect sense to you. They're just like the king of communication. And it opens you up to these new emotions. There could be a beginning of a new relationship again um, towards the end. Because whatever new relationship started here, I see that this emotional manipulation, although it was good and helps you to grow, it also ends that new relationship. So I see it kind of ending and then I see a brand new start. There's a brand new start. And then I see you racing in towards November ready to tackle it. Full of your energy, full of your ambition, full of your fire. I see you racing in. I'm going to conquer November. I'm stronger. October has made me stronger. I've learned my lesson. I've reached stability. I've, I have grace. I took these lessons and instead of getting upset with them like I did in the past, I mean, you do get a little upset because I do. I mean, there's there's the king of pentacles in the reverse here and there's judgment in the reverse. So I do see you getting a little bit upset and a little bit depressed, but ultimately I see you growing from this. This is all about growth and getting ready for the months ahead. This is all getting ready for the months ahead. Venus rules relationships and Venus is making its descent. In Sumeria, Venus was called Inanna. In, um, Greece, she was Aphrodite. In Rome, she was Venus, and she was, correlates with the planet Venus. And there's a story about Inanna's descent, where she goes into the underworld, and her sister puts her up on a meat hook, and then the sun god creates little people out of the dirt of his fingernails who go into the underworld and rescue Inanna and Inanna comes back and that's all about Venus going retrograde and that's what's happening. Um, so expect some tough times in relationships for about the t next two months, two, three months. And it's all a learning process. You're, you're learning, you're growing. From these lessons they're not the best lessons aren't the easy ones the best lessons are the hard ones that you have to learn but I see your intuition is spot on I see I see a lot of romance I see a lot of um, being highly intuitive um, I see you being in your feminine energy more than masculine. I mean, if you're a man and you're watching this, you, everybody has both masculine and feminine energy. It's a polarity. And I see you being more in your feminine, more emotional energy. There's a lot of emotions here. And all of the emotions are new beginnings, new emotional beginnings. So these are things that you haven't experienced before, haven't felt before, but it's good. And it's leading towards the coming months, towards conquering and leaving and being triumphant. That's how you get your recognition. That's how you get your parade. You have to go through this, but I do see you celebrating. I do see you partying. I, see, I actually, I see you going out Halloween and just having a really good time. And this definitely has its ups and its downs. The biggest thing is I see that there's emotional manipulation here and it really affects you, but it helps you to grow. That's the biggest thing. All right, Leah, thank you so much for joining me today.